Hello everyone and welcome to Flight Training School 101. I'll be your pilot slash daredevil slash extraordinaire fighter pilot. Uh, Dave. Yeah, that's my name. Today you'll be learning how to fly a small plane to big planes to any type of air vehicle and that you can grab with your hands or feet. I've seen it happen. Today we're gonna learn how to fly a simple plane. A very si oh, whoa, whoa, quiet in back there. A very simple plane. As you can see to our left, this is a beginner plane. I, I said quiet. A very simple plane. It is called a uh, Cessna. I think it, it's small. It's fast uh, ish. And then we'll go to something a bit bigger. Yes, those are rockets. Don't worry. Everything here is not dangerous. All right. Now we get back to it. All right, everyone. Remember. Whenever we fly a plane, because we are a company that does train you, we need to go through a simple safe procedures. Yeah, procedures. Okay, rule number one, do not press any red buttons. I'll teach you how to use them later. Rule number two, if I say something, try to listen. Rule number three, we're on three, right? Rule number three, um, if you see something on fire, it usually means things are about to go bad. So don't freak out. Rule number four, if you see something on burning on fire, then the plane has crashed, most likely. Oh, uh, before we do this, make sure you sign the death and uh, waiver forms. You know, if something were to happen, you know, like a heart attack or anything like that. The Air Force Academy is not responsible for any death, climate clause, murdering, clawing, sawing, and cutting in half of any human being on premises or in any vehicles that we own currently. If you crash it, you pay for it, even in death. We are not responsible for anything lost if you must move in on player plane. And all and every staff member will be executed on site if they're found taking something away from the people. The message from uh, Air Force Institute Incorporated. Yeah, okay, let's go now. Okay, so we're finally here at the plane and we're gonna start doing some basic uh, flight, pre-flight checking things. Well, the first thing I have to check is, uh, you know, the spinny thing. Uh, I gotta check the wheels, you know? The nice little wheels. Yep, there's nothing there. Gotta check the back. You gotta make sure those flaps are good. Alright, also gotta check if you have anyone in the back of the seat. You don't want to terrify them. Nope, it looks very... Oh, this is the training unit, isn't it? Yep, it looks very blocky in here. We, our company has gone through some major uh, financial crisis in the past years. But it's okay, this is just a dumbed-down version of it. I believe it's the uh, kid version. Okay, as you can see, we are inside the plane. Now, um, due to some, uh, uh, reality bending effects, we are currently inside the plane. We have become the plane. Yeah, it's all part of the plan. Okay, simple measures. You're gonna check your flaps by, uh, turning on the, well, first you have to turn on the engine. Okay, uh, you turn on your, oh, that's very loud. Don't worry, the sound is not gonna hurt your ears for a short time. Now, remember, you always have to check your, the, Jesus, it's right up here. Check your flaps, and nothing's turning. As you can see, the, oh. As you can see, left flap's working, good. Right flap's working, good. The, the down's going good, down flap's going good. Up flaps are perfect. Uh, left flaps and right flaps don't seem to be working. We're gonna now proceed to go to the runway. And then a whole crisis can happen. Uh oh, we seem to be wobbling. I think we have a flat tire. Yep, we have a flat tire. Okay. Now, when this happens, it's okay. Your plane's not gonna crash and burn. Now, one thing to remember. If you see someone on the track, just wave your hand to go away. If that person's charging towards you, just turn up the engine a little bit more and everything will be okay. Before we take off, you have to make sure you call um, uh, call where you're going. Now, in this case, we own this island. Yep, that's what we call the uh, mince meat right there. Those things kill more pilots every year than influenza. Okay, seems to be moving off the airfield. We're gonna start taking a uh, takeoff. Now, if you see your stick, oh right, we don't have a stick in here. I am um, okay. It's just training. Just just training on how procedures. That's all. That's all. We'll learn how to actually fly a plane in the other plane. All right, we're gonna take off. Make sure always check your speed to never, uh, you know, flip on one side. Oh, this thing's bumping a lot. That flat tire is not helping us. Um, 
That's okay, just increase the speed and we'll, we'll be okay. Okay, after you get a certain amount of speed, you should start lifting up and we're gonna be, oh, 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 we're off the ground. Hey, we're off the ground. That's good. And we're going back down to the ground. Oh, okay, um, uh -oh. See, everything is fine. Uh, we're smoking. That can't be good. Okay, so we seem to have a small engine failure. Um, that's okay. This thing's uh, strong. Oh, and this is weird. Uh-oh. Our training unit's not working that well. Now, if we just level out, level out just a little bit. Uh, uh. Now, remember, we are not liable for anything lost and stolen on this training exercise. Alright, welcome back. Um, it looks like our superiors seem to have, uh, donated us a new plane. Right now, we're inside of Antonov AN-2. This thing is a cargo-type plane that transports people from Destination A to Destination B. Now, it is a two-seater. It looks like my, uh, co-pilot Brian did not show up to, to work today. That's okay, we can fly this thing with only one person. Alright, something you always want to do before takeoff is, uh, turn on collision lights. Because you don't want to get hit by magical skies at night. You, you don't want that to happen. Okay, mounds are scary, and if they see you, they will run. As you can see here, my feet... Uh oh. Uh... As you can see now, left flap, right flap. Right, uh, uh oh, uh... Up, down. Uh, turn right, turn... Uh oh, it's not working. That's okay, we're gonna take off and we'll show you in midair. We're gonna show you how to do a landing. If I can get this thing off the ground. I think that's too much power. Whoa, get out the way, he says no. I guess we're taking off. Whoa, that was close. We're almost off the ground. What? We're off the ground? This thing is so powerful. It's like bouncing. We're only on one wheel, that's okay. If you're ever on one wheel, just turn it back to, oh, we're, we are flying. Okay, we are flying. Fun fact about this aircraft, it's made in Russia, so you know there must be a cubby for, uh, 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 uh drinks. It's super blurry out the window. Jeez, how can anyone see out of this thing? Well, let's just go with a nice little flying altitude and we should be okay. Alright, looks like, uh, we got, oh, the red button right there. We got, that's a lot of water. We are not going very fast. No, we are not going very fast. Okay, nothing is, no, all these instruments here are just stickers. There's actually nothing in here that moves. Oh, it's kind of nice. Way better than last time. Uh-oh. Um, that's okay. Just minor turbulence. Nothing too bad. Oh, yeah. Uh, flaps. You need to bring them back up. Um, yeah. Bring, uh, flaps, uh, up. No, if we looked outside, outside the camera. Look at that. We're flying right now. Now this aircraft has no gears that can be retracted. It only has gears that are uh, kind of open. Oh, what's this open door? Never do that on an actual plane. You will cause a, a major uh, get sucky gap. Landing autopilot. Oh, we're going down. Okay, don't press the button. Don't press the button. Oh, would you look at that? We're actually flying. Uh, I think I think we're. Uh... Okay, I can't tell anywhere where we where we are. It is so bright in these windows. Wow, we need to clean them. Um, oh look, that's the airfield. We're going to learn how to land. Landing is very simple. You have to remember three things. Gears, flaps, and speed. Ladies and gentlemen, we have uh, landed. Uh, we're going to take a short break after these... Um, and uh, we'll get back to flying. Well, good job to all of you for completing the course until this point. Man, you guys did really good, especially on that last one. Well, since you're here for this part, it's finally the last main attraction. All right, we're here now, then we're gonna test out the F-16. But before you do that, make sure you sign your waivers because the US government will not let us take off. Not what that happened last time. What is going on? Stop, stop, rookie, stop. Don't press the button. Great, great, great. Okay, you all signed your waivers. And, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, we're gonna fly this thing. 
together. Uh, or maybe by yourself. We're not really sure anymore. You all paid a hefty amount of price for your package. Well, let's go into it. Okay, welcome aboard the F-16. This prize beauty costs us around $10 million to, uh, well, to buy and use. This is why we're, uh, oh, where is he going? Well, that was Tim, another instructor here. Um, he's very coordinated. Okay, as you can see here, this is your flight stick. This is what you use to fly with and to stick around. Get it? Down there is your, uh, well, steering wheels, basically. This is what turns the tail rotors from left to right. All right, uh, well, what else? Um, okay, if you see my hand, I'm doing very small movements. This plane is super sensitive. So one little tap to the left, that's go left, up, go up, right, go right, down, go down. That's all you need. This right here, uh, it's ejection seat. Don't press it unless you want to lose some ribs. Uh, that's uh, that's uh, wheels. That's uh, altitude uh, regulator uh, radar. That's very useful. The seat warmer, cell phone, um, coffee makers down there. We have uh, gauges for when we have to go to uh, fuel. Yeah, that's a uh, sticker that don't put fire. Of course, don't put fire in here. Okay, back there is the microwave. You stick your hand back there, you'll you'll find a nice warm burrito. Now this stick right here is our throttle. It's what controls our speed and everything else. Now I'm slowly moving it, but nothing really is doing. Um, and I think that's the radio. I'm not so sure. Anyway, engine starting up. Let me show you how to actually use this thing. Oh, and don't worry. All those missiles on the side, they're not real. They're all fake. All the real ones were sold off for money. Okay, we're gonna do a nice little takeoff from the runway. Uh, that's the uh, yeah nice little what the hell is Tim doing? Uh oh, he's he's gone crazy again. Um, uh, okay, well we're just gonna do a nice little takeoff and um, I'll show you guys how to take this thing off. As you can tell, the the air sucky thing is in the front. The blowout hot air is in the back. Uh, the really big things are fuel. Don't drop them because we kind of need them to fly. Oh, we're kind of going fast. Oh, slow it down. Slow it down. Ooh, slow it down. Uh, break. And we're golden. It seemed that we have tipped a little bit. It's fine. This thing is meant to, to do this. Okay, as you can see, we are on the runway, ready to take off and everything else uh, great about it. Okay, we're going to do a little test. Uh, right, right flap, good. All right. Left flap, good. All right, back flaps. Back flaps are good. Up and down. All right, everything is good. All right, cool. Um, yeah, uh oh, we're gonna take off now. In a very calm and demeaning way. You don't want to scare off people that might be next to you. Make sure to turn on your lights because you don't want to hit magical sky creatures. All right. Just nice a little thrust, and we'll be taking off very shortly. It's very shaky. Okay, we're good. Oh, we're good. Okay. It's so it isn't so bad. Oh, look at that. We're we're taking off. Oh, it's close to the water. As you can see, we're gaining altitude here on our uh, altitude monitor thing. And I believe this is our speed. Everything's so bright, I can't tell anymore. All right, so welcome to some new training maneuvers that I've uh, came up with so that if you're very attacked while you're in a plane, you can use to defend yourself. The very simple one is called do a barrel roll. It's where you put the plane in the in the in a circular pattern and you just fly in a circle. Okay, looks like we have some footage of you guys actually doing it. Uh, let's switch to you guys. Uh oh, um, that that doesn't look good. Okay, another maneuver that's also been used. It's doing a roll. Now, a roll's pretty simple. You just go up and do a loop. There you go. That's a roll. Or a loop. Or a swing. I don't really know anymore. Okay, and now I found something on the plane that I'm not sure what it was. Uh, I think it's this. Uh-oh, bad news. We lost all our fuel. I pressed something I was not supposed to press. What was that? Um. Uh. 
I think I, uh, I, I think these are the real things. Oh god, we have real missiles on us. Uh-oh, oh, we have to go back. We have to go back. Why do they keep launching? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, things are launching. Why am I shooting a gun? Why do we have a gun? Why do we have a gun? Wow, I can't believe I'm gonna die. Oh man, I'm a daredevil and I'm about to die. I... I don't want to die, but I guess it's nice I'm dying, at least I'm not alone, right? Oh wait, there's no one else in this plane. Oh, crap. I'm sorry to tell you guys, but, um, Turner John, uh, he, uh, he didn't make it. Something happened aboard the last airplane, and, um, he kind of just died. Well, uh, th thank you for coming in and, uh, doing the whole thing. Uh, uh, remember, your package has been remembered, and, uh, appreciate as a new member. Or a new client of the uh, Air Force Academy of uh, of uh, of um um hmm. Never really have to explain this part.